promotions, and Dory hadn't even started the SEO stuff at this point. So I spend 25 cents at Amazon Turret. They come over, they sign up, 25 cents. The total number of subscribers for every one time I paid somebody a quarter, I actually ended up getting 26 other subscribers. So when they go in and they post a picture, an RSS feed is produced, right? Joomla is RSS based. What do we know about RSS feeds? Haven't we talked a lot about it? I don't really need to hammer that, do I? Because what did I want to do? I wanted them to start producing content and also at the same time promoting my site via the RSS feeds. And all they have to do is promote to do the RSS feed is actually just put in a picture. So for 25 cents, one person comes in, puts in the pictures for Jessica Alba, which are easy to find. They go on the internet, they search for it, they upload it. I got 26 other people I didn't have to pay sign up as a member. I didn't isolate it. I can't say with absolute certainty, but either through Dory's work kicked in, or I think I actually did this before Dory started it. It doesn't really matter. But we got 26 others. So we're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of members that have signed up. But the ratio is 26 to 1. For every one payment of 25 cents through Amazon Turk to post a picture to get this thing started, I received 26 members signing up. It's a 26 to 1. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of members have signed up. And for every one that I paid a quarter, I got 26. So we then rolled it out to, OK, I told you earlier, I said, <clears throat> told our help desk manager for this project, I told David to go over and set up a new hit based on certain parameters where they sign up, we test the process, I said now we tested it, have them sign up and we'll pay them 10 cents per picture and they can post up to 25 pictures. So one person can now get paid to post 25 pictures because I figure once they're in the site, they might as well post some more pictures. But that's when he didn't explain it clearly on his Amazon Turk deal and people were expecting to get paid $2.50 for one picture. So we changed it, and I don't know if he reinstated it, but uh, I don't, other than that, that's it. That's how we use sweepstakes. So now people say, why do you have a sweepstakes? Well, great. <clears throat> the demographic of the site is a male, right? Chances are male or female is Jessica Alba. She actually checks well with both genders. That's why she's popular. She's all very popular, always in the news. Why did I choose Jessica Alba? Because I use the tools and the techniques and the video training instructions that you have in your portfolio. I walk you through it. I don't know if I chose Jessica in that example, but I talked about my reasoning about what I looked for. One of the things I did is I went to Yahoo Buzz, and it's a video tutorial that's in your disk. And I talked about how to look in things that are popular and how to track it. And then I went over to Google Trends, and I said, okay, how much PR has she gotten over the years? And I saw that she, in Google Buzz, she has been in the top 50 Google Buzz for every day for the last two and a half years, I think. So she's been in the top 50 for two and a half years. She's pretty popular. More so than Brittany, more so than any of them. Jessica, any of them. She's significantly longer in the top 50 at Yahoo Buzz than any other actress, or anybody, period. So then I went over to Google Trends. There's a video tutorial in your manuals also. In the video trends, I looked at it. I said, how much press is being released on her? And I said, whoa, there's a lot of press going out on her. I want to get in front of that traffic. I also said I wanted to get a highly competitive market because we set up a website. And I wanted Dory to do her SEO thing. And Dory wanted to do it for this. So I said, OK, let's pick a high competitive market. So I picked Jessica Alba. And the domain was rocks because I wanted why. I showed you guys that I want to have the primary keyword phrase at the beginning, right? And I just thought I, I couldn't get Jessica Alba, so I got Jessica Alba and then rocks. I thought, well, that sounds cool to the demographic that I'm targeting the males, 18 to 34 years old. I'm giving away a prize that targets that demographic also, so I tie the two together, and I build this list of people. Well, what, what am I going to do with it? Well, I'm going to have a contest, and then the contest, it was sweepstakes, we can't require people to take action. They have to be able to just able to be entered into the sweepstakes. We can't make them do work or make a purchase, as Bob taught you. So now I've got a list of people that definitely like gadgets, they definitely like Jessica Alba, and they definitely like to sign up for free sweepstakes. I told you earlier I can get paid from the CPA networks for driving traffic for people that want to sign up for free sweepstakes. Bob told you it's a multi-billion dollar business. So that's why I did that. And this is, so I've got a list of people. So the next time I launch a website, what do I have to do? If it's in a gadget market, which, by the way, we have a gadget blog. I'll try to cover it tomorrow for you. We need to wrap up. Um, I then go to this list. I send the CPA offers to get paid on signing up for other people's free sweepstakes. If I want to launch a new site of my own, all I have to do is go to this list or any of my other sweepstakes list and say, hey, I got a new site. I got a new sweepstakes. It's a killer iPod. Come on over. What do we know? They come over, and they do what? They create content for my site, and every time they create a piece of content for free, they're generating RSS feeds and they're pinging the search engines and the search engines come to my site and I get members that sign up for free 
from when I just jump started for a 25 cent investment. You can actually get these people to post a picture. I didn't know when I put this up, I just wanted to get it done. You could have gotten away with paying them a nickel or even a penny, and I believe they would have posted those pictures for you. Any questions on sweepstakes and my thought process while we use it? We got hundreds of people on these lists, of different ones, just tests. In fact, there's probably thousands on this one. But. Uh, hey, Jeff. John? I, I just want to know if you are comfortable saying how much this site cost you so far and uh, what oh. profit you think you'll actually make out of it. Uh, it wasn't a profit site. It was show you guys what to do site. Our cost will be $400 for the 16 gigabyte iPod, of which I'll use my Amazon link to buy. I'll get 8% back. No tax. And then um, TKP, de TKP deployed this for us. And because it deployed it, <clears throat> Jeffrey, who is the developer of TKP, he oversees the development. We've got a programmer named Jerry that deals with it. So I said Jerry's name. And uh, for him to go in and set up a site like this, it takes him about 10 to 15 hours, and he's an expert at it. Expert. It takes him 10 to 15 hours. He's been a, owner, been a webmaster and a hosting company owner for 10 or 15 years now. It takes him 10 to 15 hours. However, we set it up inside TKP so TKP can deploy this site in a couple of minutes and then update it with content. So our costs are the $400 iPad when we finally have to give it away. That's it. The, the themes... The themes we got from Rocket Theme for 250 bucks, they have a huge selection of themes. That's where we got this particular theme. You pay 250 bucks, you have an unlimited use license from them, I believe. Lawyer. Lawyer, I think the DMCA documents that he originally drafted, I don't know if he wants me to tell you. Thousands is adequate, let's just say that. So, but at that time too, though, I think he did some other work, some other documents at the same time, so it might not be, because in fact, you did deliver a couple different documents for us for different corporations. So, so the DM, once you get the thing done with Bob's, though, once he does the documents for you through your company documents, you can use it on any website, correct, Bob? So if you look, I've got this corporation's got it, and it's on multiple websites. And if you look at my other stuff, it's on dozens of different websites that people know is my property. But then I own multiple corporations that people don't know it's me. And I had special documents drafted with those corporation names on it. So... And I own the corporations. I'm not doing anything deceitful. I just don't want the engines to know it's me. So I form new corporations, register it, make it all legal and fancy, and then that way I have separate networks that no one can figure it out, and I don't have to worry about AdSense coming in and taking away a $100,000 a month business again. So.